Let's start. Uh, my name is Pedro. I'm, I started my PhD this year, and I'm working with Professor Renato. Uh, uh, around one month ago, we we are searching for what uh, for our work to do, and we uh, we talk with a collaborator of Professor Renato in physiotherapy department of UFMS, and she, uh, he presented to us this problem, and since then, we are working with this problem. Uh, the problem is estimate human joint position for physiotherapy clinical application, applications. So, what's my problem? Uh, I need to find the, uh, the three-dimensional position and the three-dimensional rotation of several human joints. For, ex for example, uh, if, if I have a person in the clinic, I need to know uh, if uh, that his shoulder is in, in a position, three-dimensional position, uh, facing uh, and rotation, and his leg is in one position, and with this information, we can do a lot of things. So in a clinic, what we can do with this information? So this is our motivation. In a clinic, in a physiotherapy clinic, we can use this information to apply as gamifications in the treatment. For example, we can uh, put some achievements in the treatment and make it more fun, more easy to the patient to to uh, to commit with the treatment. We can also also try to evaluate the treatment. If we we do a lot of sessions with the same patient, we can get data from the first and the second and the third and go uh, and go on and we can find how the treatment is uh, evol evolving. So, and we can also give a real-time feedback to the patient. For example, the patient are uh, doing uh, some movement and he's doing work in the work way. So this, if I know how he is doing the position of his body, while he's doing this movement, I can tell him that his, uh, his movement is work and how to correct it. And now I will show you some of the, some related works. Uh, first, I will show two technologies that they use, are read using in physiotherapy. Uh, for research purpose, uh, I will show later. This uh, these technologies uh, aren't good for clinicals, but we this is the easier way to find something, to find the joints. We can place markers in the body of the patients, and I know that if I found uh, some marker, I know that in this posi position. I have this specific joint. We can do this with QR codes or lead markers, or we have uh, infrared markers too. But the, this, in this way, we can't find three dimension three dimensional informations. We just have two dimensions informations. So to get three dimensional informations, we need to use multiple cameras. So that's something that they have too in physiotherapy. You can put a lot of cameras around the patients and uh, find the same point in, in a lot of cameras and do some triangulations and volumetric analysis and you can tell the three-dimensional position of a uh, of uh, a joint. Uh, so this is what they have 
uh, here in UFMS for research. They have a, a system that has eight cameras that uh, and they put uh, infrared markers uh, in the body and they track these markers to estimate the location of the body parts. But this uh, solution ain't good for clinicals. Uh, I, I will show later this. And he, uh, what we are trying to search are using, we are trying to use other options. One of the options we are uh, see is use uh, the use of some of these devices. This is a device that combines deep sensors with image. This is a uh, standard gaming gaming device. Is the Kinect from Xbox, and then you connect. And this is a camera from uh, is a structural core that has the same technology. The, the get the image and the deep. And we are seeing to uh, some work that use convolutional neural networks too. Uh, always convolutional neural networks. Uh, so uh, this is a work that can track uh, positions in, in the body, but uh, this work has some limitations. If we use just one camera, we just can find two dimensions information uh, positions. We can't uh, estimate three dimensions with just one camera using this work. E, uh, to find two dimension, we need to put some cameras. But why uh, I'm trying to avoid to use uh, several cameras in, in my solution? Because we have some limitations to apply this technology in uh, physiotherapy clinic. The first limitation is we, we can't use a lot of cameras because when you use uh, much cameras, uh, a lot of cameras, you need to uh, need to calibrate them, and uh, it's uh, hard work to do, and to the professionals in the physiotherapy in physiotherapy to use this, they need to they need a easier uh, the system to be easier as possible to configure it, to configure, okay. And the other the other limitation is we can't use markers because the markers, as the, uh, our collaborator says, the, the marker the marker make the movement less natural. And this is annoying to uh, apply markers in all the patients you need to to do sessions. So what are our goals in this work? We are trying to create a, a method that estimates uh, patients' joint position during the, the physiotherapy sessions. And we need to estimate this, uh, these positions in three dimensions. And we are trying to study if, uh, if it's possible to do this with a single camera or a single deep sensor. They already try. Uh, they you know, have two meetings with prof uh, Professor Professor Thomas of physiotherapy. They he tell us that we already try to use Kinect sensor. Uh, probably I will ask him later why this didn't work. Yeah, they are trying now to use uh, other sensors, deep sensors, like the the structural core that we have now. And uh, this, the system needs to run in real time to give feedback to the patient. While we is doing the exercise, uh, the system needs to be running and giving feedback to him. So uh, now that's what I have. And I expect in the next month, uh, I, get, I have a, 
better understanding of the problem. Probably I have a lot of tries that didn't work to solve the problem, but uh, that is, that is it. Thank you.